This is a Dell small desktop. Inspiron 3020S. I got it in Costco for $450, which is a good price. It comes with 13 Gen i5, 8 gig of RAM and 512 SSD. I bought it for my customer, so we'll need to upgrade the RAM and add more storage. This is a small desktop, but it's not like a mini computer like this. This is going to be like, you know, half size kind of. It's going to be small, but not exactly tiny. This is the box. Comes with keyboard and mouse. i5 13 gen is plenty processing power for an office desktop. 8 gig of RAM. Nowadays it's kind of, uh, we will upgrade it to 16. I have an extra stick of RAM. And 512 SSD is just fine, but uh, we'll need a lot of storage in this computer. So I have a spare 8 terabyte hard drive, which we were going to install as well. As all Dells comes with a standard Dell seal, we will need a pink knife to open it, just like this. We have a mouse just lying around like this. This goes to your wall outlet with a ground pin, keyboard, manual, and this is the desktop. It's small, but it's not, not the smallest one. This is what we get, standard keyboard, USB, same with the mouse, pretty standard with a scroller, no gaming buttons, power cord, and here is the computer. Uh, this panel is blue, black. Uh, on the front we have power button, we have, uh, it looks like a DVD drive, we'll see if it works. Uh, we also have SD card slot, four USB-A's, these are three zero, these are faster one. Headphone input, some ventilation. And on this side we get uh, four more USB-A's, RJ45, um, display port and HDMI. Uh, we have here two screws, two black screws to open it. Let's see here. Here we can install a hard drive. It looks like we can even install a video card. We have another PCI Express slot for, I don't know, sound card or something. CPU is right there. We're gonna keep it like that, we're not gonna touch it. RAM is hidden right there, which makes it a little bit uncomfortable to upgrade. Everything is screwed together like this, so you can't really reach RAM. And I don't even see where the SSD is. I would assume it's hidden somewhere there, but we'll have to figure. We'll have to take out this thing, I believe. This part easily pulls off. As you can see over here, it looks like it's a DVD drive but there is nothing there. Three screws to take the first part off, like here and two, and two over there. Uh, that's a storage for hard drive, for 3.5 full-size hard drive. I don't know what this part is, but it just pulls out. It started seeming a little bit complicated, but then I just took off this screw over here, and, and that's it. And here we are. Uh, this is an SSD. It's a small size, but uh, full size can be installed. This is 512, PCI Express Gen 4X4, brand Solidigm. Solidigm? I've never heard of this brand. This is a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth card. And here we have the RAM. Let's see what RAM we got here. i just open both of them. And we get here. Oh, I don't know what brand it is. M, is it Micron? I don't know. 
uh, PC for 3200, which is good. Product of China. Uh, looks like no name RAM, but it's probably Micron, I think. And they just don't let them stick their brand on top of it. Some uh, uh, computer manufacturers even stick their own brands. And uh, the RAM itself is actually like Samsung or whatever. I also had this uh, Cynix RAM from uh, an old computer. And uh, it's uh, the same uh, timing. It might be a little bit different, but it also is uh, 3200 and UC0-13, whatever it means, it's the same. Uh, and it means uh, one should not slow down the other, by much at least. But it's a office desktop, so it doesn't matter. Most important thing is that we're gonna get 16 RAM and I already had this stick. Otherwise, I don't know what I would do with it. Most important is obviously put correctly. One side is longer than the other. And uh, we gotta put it uh, to the slot. We have this divider here. So we just put them in. They are placed uh, correctly. So we just uh, push. And it closes. If you stick them in incorrectly, what's going to happen is that uh, uh, something is gonna break either RAM or motherboard. You definitely don't want that. So you put them correctly, straight, push. Another thing I like about it is that it actually has a two hard drive slot. So this one is 3.5 and here you can stick a 2.5 hard drive like in laptops or a SATA SSD which is uh, much faster and uh, much better. Uh, sticks from the side over here. That's why it has uh, two SATA connectors. We have two SATA connectors here. And uh, we have two over there. So it's no more, just two. Um, I believe some of this uh, may come with a DVD drive. Not this one, but uh, it probably was cheaper for them to make uh, these panels the same with this thing. But that's the way they made it and I was hoping it has a DVD drive. Not that I would use it much, but um, good to have, I guess. Um, before we install the hard drive, I want to test it out, make sure everything works. And then we're going to install a hard drive here. I plugged it in and it uh, immediately turned off by itself. I didn't even press the button. Now it stopped. That was a little bit weird. We have connected everything, original power cord, mouse and keyboard. Uh, we didn't connect the front panel. So it's a little bit uh, dressed down. Turn on the power. Only 180 watt, which means uh, you probably don't want to stick any video card in there. I don't know, maybe like GT 1030, something like that. Because 180, it's going to be eaten by CPU and all the stuff in here. Doesn't spin that fast, actually. Now we have 16 gig of RAM and i5-13400 is a really good CPU. I also deleted like a couple of dozens of... Uh, useless apps that came with it. And now it's time to upgrade the storage. It already has 512 SSD and uh, we need to add a second storage. Uh, I would probably prefer a SATA SSD, but we gotta go cheap. So this is eight terabyte hard drive, Seagate. I had it for a while sitting around. Um, shows how you install it, you put it just like that. I was really afraid that I don't find the SATA power cable, but it was hidden underneath over there. So we connect this, we connect that, then we'll need to uh, put screws back. We had three screws, one over here, some more over there. Let's turn it on a try first. Now it got a little bit louder. 
Now we're going to partition it with the disk management. And we got it running. I got uh, four terabyte exactly, and uh, the rest on the second one. Um, I just add like a couple of megabytes to make sure it's uh, shown as four terabytes, not like 399 or anything. I like it like flat like this. And this is our 512 SSD for Windows, and uh, these two for data. Then I just assembled everything together. I forgot to put one screw somewhere, but everything feels fine. In the end, we have a decent office computer that's gonna last for uh, like five, seven years probably. i5-13400 is much better than laptop i7-1355U uh, and even uh, 1360 performance version. It's a really good CPU, it's a desktop after all. And it's not even the fastest. Keep in mind that laptops are way slower. Um, 16 gig of RAM is plenty if needed. Maybe later we'll need 32, but I doubt that. Maybe for like some new Windows. And um, storage 